After a hard-fought loss on the road at Boston College on Friday night, the Terriers welcomed the Eagles to Walter Brown Arena for a rivalry rematch on Saturday afternoon. The Terriers produced some quality chances in the early going, but BC's top-ranked power play and McKenna Newkirk gave the Eagles a 1-0 lead in the first period. Denied by O'Neill. That was Anastas looking for another. She's got five already this season, reigning Hockey East Player of the Week. Centering pass, loose in front, score! Looked to be tipped at the last moment, just past the left pad of Aaron O'Neill, and Boston College takes a 1-0 lead. BU goalie Aaron O'Neill made some impressive saves throughout the day, but Boston College took advantage of another power play in the second period. Two minutes interference. Newton fighting hard to get the puck away from Boston College in the corner, but Longerin was able to come away with it. Power play, one-timer score! Grace Bazal, the sophomore, with her second of the season, and it's power play goal number two for Boston College. Entering the third down 2-0, the Terriers got a lift from Victoria Bach, but Boston College answered right back. Get back in this game. As we just saw Aaron O'Neill snag a high liner on net. Victoria Bach sends one. That was fluttering and up and over the crossbar off a deflection off the stick of Anastas. Bach slipping through right circle, gets through, she scores! Victoria Bach wouldn't be denied. And she gets the goal. The Terriers on the board. Bach gets number four this season. And just like that, it's a one goal game. That's exactly how the Terriers had to come out and start the third period. Plenty of time left, and you can bet their confidence is building here. But there's a one time goal from Boston College. They answer in less than 15 seconds and they've regained a two-goal lead. It's 3-1. to one. Well, if BU wanted to come out exactly as they did with that goal, that's exactly how BC wanted to respond. Still, BU refused to go down quietly and scored three unanswered goals in dramatic fashion. Fox scored earlier in the period to make it 2-1, to one, but Lonergan answered right back to make it 3-1. to one. Leslie switches her pivot foot. There's a slap shot score! Crosley sent it on, and a power play goal for the Terriers. They're back within one. In this game, the Terriers have struggled to get on shots from the blue line on net. They finally get in front and able to get it past Katie Burt. And this is as good as we've seen the Terriers offense look in one of their cycles, even on a power play at times. The team that defeated Boston College in the championship last year. Bach wants another one, and she's got it. Victoria Bach ties the game. Beating Burke, glove side, it is three to three. That's one of the first clean one-on-one -on -one looks in this game, and Bach just beat Katie Burt to tie this game. That's about as huge of a goal as the Terriers have had all season. To come back and tie this team, one of the best teams in the conference. Steele. Now Steele's over the blue line, backhander for Elia, right back to Steele, down low, backhander, deflected away, shot, score! It's D'Souza to give the Terriers the lead! Her first career goal against Boston College in a spot like this, the Terriers have scored four times in the third period. With an empty netter from Nina Rogers, BU capped off the comeback win to take down their arch rival. Parker gets it free. Loose puck in front. Rogers is free. Ball game. Empty net goal, 5-3. Rogers puts the icing on the cake, and the Terriers have come all the way back for a dramatic win with the empty netter to finish things off. They score five times in the final period and snap a three-game losing streak. If there's a game to look back on this season that might have been the turning point for the Terriers, there's no question this was it. There was Victoria Bach after a dramatic comeback win. Victoria, you had the first goal of the day, didn't come to the third period, but how important was that to be able to see yourself get on the board? Uh, you know, I think it was just really important as a team that we stuck together. Um, you know, we really ran into some penalty trouble the first two periods, and I think, you know, we kind of regrouped and going into the third, and we were like, let's play our game and let's kill off this penalty. And, you know, I ended up getting a shot on net and got my own rebound and kind of went five hole. and. You know, just got things started and, you know, great work by my linemates to get that puck in deep and, yeah, I couldn't be happier. 
Uh, shortly after you guys scored, Boston College scores again. How did you guys find the resilience to continue fighting back and eventually score five goals in that final period? I think, you know, we just really had to stick together. And I know on the bench, uh, all the girls were like, guys, there's still tons of time left. And, um, yeah, overall, I think we kind of used that goal as momentum and took that. And, you know, once we got another one, then the momentum was there again. And Des got her first goal. And, yeah, really happy for her. Last question. This team seems to be coming together at this time of the season. How important is it to get a dramatic win like this against a rival to snap a bit of a losing streak and get you guys really going? Yeah, I think it. You know, I think it was a huge win for our team. You know, we'll help our confidence going into the next couple of games, and you know, we just got to keep momentum going and play like how we did in that third period, and you know, bring what we brought in the third period to the first period every, of every game. And you know, if we do that, we should be successful. Two goals today for Victoria Bach and a great win. Thanks a lot for the time. Thanks a lot. The Terriers look to continue their winning ways next weekend when they head to Maine to take on the Black Bears on Friday and Saturday afternoon.